So guys, today we we'll learn how to sculpt a rock in GBrush. So we will use basic brush like Move Tool, Clay Build Up. Now you can see I am taking a sphere and blocking all the shapes. In this stage, we are focusing on silhouette, mainly silhouette. Now I am using edge polish to quickly sculpt out the areas. Always focus on the silhouettes. Now I'm blocking out that hard edges. The elevations is important also. Using Team Dynamic and crisping these edges. Always ready to tweak the shapes because it's not going to be perfect from the beginning so always focus on the silhouette so now you can see i'm building those minor details like those primary details like that hard big big shapes I'm doing right now like that we can do some alpha patterns also we can use masking later silhouette changes is there also we can smooth that mask also like I'm doing right now for moving things Now using edge polish to polish the edges a bit. You can see I'm making the primary cracks. After that, I will move to the secondary details and rest the tertiary details. Doing flatten on the downside because it will stand on the right. Sorry for the idea guys. During sculpting rock, move tool is very handy too for tweaking shapes. And clay builder was always useful also. I'm trying to match the shape from one angle. Like one camera angle is there. Now I'm using clay builder for blocking that big areas. And trim dynamic for sharp edges.
so guys like this so we will add some more details and now we're going to paint it i did one mask by o from the mask option i paint uh, one darkest color now we are going to poly paint it right so we can use like the th color theory like mid-tone highlights and shadow we'll do we'll do the mid-tone first after that we'll do that shadow yes and after that we'll do the highlights in the finish it. so right now a little bit working on the high highlight also For checking the base color, you can use the flat material. It's on the matte cap section. Now I'm putting some primary highlights, very primary highlights. Now I'm putting some major highlight and you can see the color difference now. Little bit more whitish green. You can use the paint brush also. This is very useful for painting or poly painting if you do some texture and stuff and cheap brush. Now I'm adding a little bit more contrast dark areas also to pop out the details. A little bit working on the mid tones also. Always check with the flat color because otherwise you can't understand what is going on there. Little bit more contrast. little bit more highlight now you can see the details are popping out from far away like in stylized rock now we can use some layer effect like I painted one glowing light effect on, on the layer actually and now we can switch this like this I painted actually uh, I took one layer in the brush and then I painted it some glowing effect you can see just how I'm painting this
Now I put one another layer and blending the glow effect like the bouncing light on the surface like it's scattering away. The glow edges also. This is done for now. In next class, we will learn how to export this texture, this polypad texture, and finish the final output. Okay, guys, if you learn something, please subscribe. And next video is coming very soon. Thank you for watching.